to fear the world. It has gone mad. Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. We are here in the Rusty Blade Inn and we have taken quite the beating. We are in a pretty bad spot right now. Everyone is stressed out, they're on edge and of course everyone is feeling the loss of Felpha. Unfortunately she perished on our way to the Rusty Blade. Unfortunate could not be helped and we'll be some, there'll be some extra details as to how that happened as we go into our diaries here but first of all we need to speak about Jane. Now you may think this is the Jane we know and love and you may wonder just how she got here but this is not the Jane we know. This is Jane Doe. This is an unknown grave robber that was here and ready, willing and and able to join the mission and of course as always EBG has done a fantastic job in writing this Jane Doe a backstory so let's get into that. Okay Jane Doe the grave robber. The first thing this woman remembers is flames. Flames all around her screaming and people tearing each other apart as strange grotesque monsters rise covered in the same flames, attacking all that lives. She touched her head um, back then, feeling the hot red blood trickling down her face, an unsteady hand grabbing at the first thing that was around, a pickaxe, swinging it towards the nearest brute. She knew she wanted to survive, to move on. She didn't know who she was. She doesn't even know her own name, but she knows that she can fight, and fight she does fight like no other. She watches as a stagecoach plows forward in the distance, surrounded by monsters, yet something warns them off, at least most of them. She sees the flame flickering in the back of the cart. Her eyes widen as she feels something rise within her. She must follow them. For some reason, she feels like she needs to, especially when she sees the highwaymen peek out and shoot the monster that had come too close. She chases them, chases them and defeat all that stand in their way. She must be a good warrior. She will do finely with them. As she arrives at the inn and requests to join the group, she is surprised to see them accept her into the fold so easily. An old warrior mentioned something about a comrade's passing. Perhaps she can re uh, she can realize who she is. The stoic highwayman seems to have an idea. Very, very nice. Love to see something like that. And this is actually an interesting tie-in of a character from the previous series. Looking forward to seeing how this Jane Doe develops and see if we can figure out a little more about her. We do also have some diary entries from our um, Plague Doctor Courtney. The first one in the valley. This Jane, uh, journal is a recording of the events that transpired on our journey. I'm unsure of the final destination, but the road ahead will be dangerous. Thankfully, I have some allies joining me for the trip. Two of them are familiar, but from where I am, I am unsure. There is some sort of barbarian joining us for the trip as well. As capable as she may be in battle, I just don't have a good feeling about her. I can see in her eyes that she's not sound of mind. I have a dreadful feeling about her. Ruinous. And then the next one, in the sprawl, at the rusty blade. Courtney says, Ruinous indeed. I tried to like her. I did. Even learned that her name was Felpha. Her and the soldier with us seemed to respect each other, companions of battle. Despite my attempts, she continued to disrupt my medicines, even outwardly refusing it at one point. I cannot stand to be denounced in such a manner. I have worked hard for these skills I have, and I cannot shake the feeling she gave me. She kept giving me these looks. She fell in battle, after nearly perishing alongside the soldier for, for a, um, a poorly handed tussle with some cultists, I could see her wounds were too serious to ever truly heal. I took advantage of it. Just before esca escaping Amadis, I treated her wounds with nothing but painkillers and placebos, and naturally, her end came swiftly. She should have had more faith in my medicines. Look at how far she got without them. At the very least, we survived. I found some incense hidden away in the stagecoach, and it's providing some stress relief. By some stroke of luck, it would appear one of the survivors of Amadis escaped the flames will be joining us to replace Felpha. Dismas seems to know them. 
so I trust them enough to let them ride, ride along with us. So, as you can clearly hear, it seems that it seems that Courtney was um, actually taking quite the hand in uh, in the demise of Felfa, which is interesting. Very interesting indeed. I, I have to say, not something I would ordinarily stand for, but within this ragtag group, we have to take what we can get, don't we? Oh, you can crit with food? Good. Okay, we're all out of food. Um, right. Let's, um, let's use all we can here. I mean, to be fair, let's just heal you up to full. We're going to have to do some stress relief on you and you. There's another heal. Let's uh, try and improve infinity here. I'm really hoping this improves it a good amount because unfortunately these guys are really not not too keen on each other at the moment. I've got to say they're really not too keen on each other, and it's uh it's created quite the sour mood. It's quite the sour mood indeed. Right. Let's uh let's first of all make sure that we've got our skills set up correctly. We'll we'll take off the uh, the poison dart and put on the dead of night. I really like that one. Uh, and here we've got the uh, Denial of Pleasure in order to refine the spirit. Extra stun resist and a sprint wrist for that little bit of less damage. Unfortunate. But we are going to drop some trinkets here. You can just take both of these. That'll be good for some extra resistances. And why not take that as well? Actually, do you know what? Let's, let's take that instead. That'll likely be a little more useful. Let's just check the rest of the group. Got some healing salve here. You can take that. And we're actually looking decent here. Of course, we are, however, in a bit of a sore spot otherwise. It, this, this, it could be difficult, but I'm hoping we can rebuild relationships and carry on forward. Be taught, that you may stand just a little taller at the end. Wow, we only have one mastery token to work with here. By the way, just to let you know, between this episode, uh, sorry, the last episode and this, there was a pretty decent patch that added a bunch of things, buffed a bunch of stuff, changed a bunch of things. And one of the things it did is it buffed the, the um, it buffed Felfer quite a lot. So it'd be really nice to use the Hellion again. Uh, also, I believe Tracking Shot, is it Tracking Shot or Take Aim? One of them got a pretty big buff. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, try working with um, Ounce of Prevention here for that stress relief and hope that that does us good. With only one, um, only one skill to, to buff Planning up there, it's not great. Well, here we got these extra scouting and chance and 100% scouting chance for lairs. That is actually kind of interesting because they actually, um, they actually made it in the latest patch so that all lairs have a 100% chance to be scouted in the future. So that's going to be nice. But yeah, we can't really do much. We'll ch check the provisioners. We definitely want all three of them. The um, okay, let's take a look. Is, have we got anything else that can cure some stress? So we'll take, I think we'll take that Something as well. To ease the rigors of the road. We got some good stuff here. Ooh, I think we definitely want that. They are, they are very valuable. And then we'll take that as well. And do you know what? We'll take that as well. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Okay, let's get, let's get back to our group and just give them these, these trinkets and stuff. So... Let's make sure that you, you've got a full stack of that, and then we'll give someone else one as well. I think it's likely to be best on you. This could help us out quite a lot in the future. And then let's just use some of our um, things here so we can go like this, lower your stress a little bit. And... Let's just lower these two stress a little bit as well. And even go with a bit of cards as well. Just, just to get Jane, Jane Doe here, into the group a little bit better. Position and plan accordingly. Okay, helping hand. Extra chance for cultist encounters. And extra scouting chance. Same for this one as well, actually. We would get hope for this one. But I feel that we'd be better off in the tangle, to be honest. Modern so let's go there. Resignation and oh, death. Let's get ready to embark. This land is truly barren. Once again. Let's push forward. And back, leave the inn. And this time, let's hope that we can do a little bit better. Now, relationships weren't tweaked at all in the latest patch, so that's going to be the same as it was prior. But we should hopefully find a few skills tweaked, a few enemies tweaked, things like that. Rewards only. 
resignation. Let's have a look. What's Dismas saying? Head in the stand, unfortunately. All right, let's take a little look at the path we might want to take here. So, I think the assistance encounter would be good. There is a cultist encounter, another cultist encounter. Hero shrine. Okay, we've got a path here with um, with at least two hero shrines. We desperately need to take those, and so that is what we'll do. We'll head right and then up through here. Yeah, let's let's go this way. And we'll head up through this cultist encounter. And hope for the best. Chaos now this area, the tangle, can be quite difficult. It can be quite treacherous. I'm hoping that the group can perform a little better and maybe get along a little better without Felthra at their side. While Felthra is a warrior, she was pretty much suicidal. <laughs> flies through them, and so they must fall. The forgotten outpost. We don't have to fight here. But I feel like the group needs to get to know each other, and we probably should, although this would upset the group. Josiah and Courtney both, both would like to escape. Okay, Josiah, I'll accept this. A little bit of flame lost to move onwards. While not the most ideal, I'd rather keep the relationships up, and we are about to gain some light here anyways. These two are going to gain some stress out of that. Josiah, how did you gain so much stress? Where did that come from? Did I just not notice you had a lot of stress? I'm sorry. I'm desperate. They need your help. It's okay. We shall help them. While while our gender isn't exactly the uh, isn't exactly the 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 best among this group, she doesn't know them very well. I'm sure she's very skilled. And be humbled by it. I think we're gonna take this one here. Get as much loot as we can. Give up some relics. The Wayne Ride awaits. Yes. Okay, this is stuff that we needed. This is stuff that we desperately needed. So I'm very happy to have it. All right, let's go ahead. Courtney, what are you saying? Okay, that's good. Right, our light is now back to a, back to a very, very nice level. We are going to have to take on this Cultist Encounter along with this Resistance Encounter. Could be a little difficult. My God, Josiah, you are stressed out of your mind right now. Calm down. Relationships are thinning. And not doing so well, but that is unfortunately what we get. The Forgotten Outpost. Everyone wants to fight this time. Crush all who impede. Indeed, Courtney. Indeed. Right, this guy can be problematic, as can the guy in the back. We'll uh, take our first turn to do Ounce of Prevention. Should do some stress relief, crisis, but also that buff is we can rather nice. Only upon each other. And we can figure out what we're going to do with this. Pick to the face. Gets through that block. Very, very nice. I'm going to take aim here. The increased the chance for crits to give stress relief. So trying to get as many crits as we can with take aim is going to be very valuable. We'll be trying to do that at every given opportunity. I think Bello is going to be really nice here. It's going to remove that guy's repost. But also just remove some of that speed too. That cut did hurt. But I think we're okay. This guy in the back is really going to be the uh, the enemy that we that we want to be handling as soon as possible. He can be very problematic for us. Um, and so I'm going to use Blinding Gas to try and, uh, yes, blind both of them. And it did indeed work. Very nice to see. Uh, let's let's bolster here with a um, Plague Doctor. Lowers our stress but gives us that nice block. And now we can take a pistol a shot. That is a crit. Conclusion. And hopefully provide stress relief. It didn't seem to provide any for the team. But there's another crit. Large. There's the stress relief. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. And there's also a new area we can find. I don't know if we'll be able to find it on this mission because we started it prior to the patch. In fact, I don't even know if things of the patch will end up applying. Extra max HP and damage is a bit uh, scary here. But yes, um, there is indeed uh, some changes to... Um, do you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll go for a heal on you. I know it's early, but it's nice to get uh, everyone topped up. Um, but yes, um, there is a new area we can find for stress relief. You know, do you know, like you can find a um, medical center, like a me medical tent. You can also find a stress relieving place now as well, which is very, very good. I think we go with Bello again here as the support. We Lower that speed even more. Another may finish the work. We take aim once more, I think. I think it's better to take aim because we gain that dodge. Stops us getting hit, potentially wastes a turn. Um, another cut goes to, um, Argendo here. 
Unfortunately, the dodge did not pay off, but we did resist the bleed nicely. Purge the unworthy. That's going to be some stress and quite a hefty bit of damage. But we can at least go for some of the heal there. I'm sure GM will appreciate that. Uh, and I think here we're going to go for the crit. There you go. Wasn't expecting a crit, but I was going to say kill, but I got crit, so we'll finish you off because it makes sense. And we'll go for another pistol shot crit. Damn, I missed your eye. They, unfortunately, they're, they're really not taking to Jin. Um, not the team, the enemies. The enemies really seem to be having a hard time accepting uh, <laughs> fighting anyone other than Jin, which is surprising. I think we need to probably heal her once again. Oh, okay, we can't actually heal her right now. Um, hmm. I think I'm actually going to do this and give you another strengthened. Just so we can take aim and go for a really powerful shot here. And then we can do Dead of Night actually to heal up nicely. There you go. Gives us some stealth as well. Gets that body out of the way. I think that's very nice. Now, um, uh, wow, I was just about to say, Crush actually did get nerfed slightly, but we still crit with it, and it still did a very good job. So we'll, we'll take this off of you. That bleed is going to be a little bit painful, so I'd rather not have it. Um, I think with the uh, damage this can do, yeah, 18, that's huge. And we're just going to keep slicing at this guy. And then we'll remove his repost if he uses on guard again. But at the minute, we're just uh, eking out that damage. There you go. He uses on guard again. So hopefully we can get out another um, lowered speed and uh, remove repost before we have to uh, strike once more with um, with many other people. I will, of course, go for the strike nonetheless here. I know that it's going to um, give us that repost now, but I think that's still fine. Uh, I think I'm going to go for another ounce of prevention here. Oops, those resists. I think we take aim once more here. I'm really understanding that take aim is very, very powerful. There's that dodge as well, so just goes to show. And then we bellow here, which will remove his repost, which saves us from some uh, extra harmful bleeds. That we are getting to the point where we're having trouble curing. This can, this is good just because it can uh, get a little bit of damage through that block, but sometimes it doesn't work. Brilliant conclusion. There you go. I don't know why they didn't crit, actually. This guy's almost dead, though. We've actually handled this bit of combat far better than the combat in the past, I think. This guy's basically got one more turn, and then let's hope... I just want to say, hope he doesn't do too much damage on that final turn, but he did manage to uh, eke out a pretty good hit there. But we're going to heal pretty much most of it back. And then finish this guy off. Unfortunately, he does have rather high death blow resist, so we might have to fight through that a little, but there you go. Taken care of. And there you go. The relationship already between our Jane Doe and Courtney is uh is growing. Still lingers in and we like to see that. Well Ooh, relics. we got another good trinket here. Okay. Uh I don't even know if I equipped that trinket, I'll be honest. I, I got one of them earlier, and I don't think I equipped it. The right, let's um Let's just check our trinkets. Yeah, I didn't even equip it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a silly goose. Right, I think we give one to you because you're kind of frail. And to be honest, I'm going to give one to you as well. Both of you can be a bit frail. And you can gain the plus to speed there. Um, as well, uh, to be fair, bleed resist is actually doing us pretty good here. We can take off the burn resist and swap it for a bit of bleed, to be honest, while we're in this area. And I think that's going to be pretty good. Yeah, I think this going to be pretty good. Seems to be doing well for us. We are going to get a road battle here. Jane's a little low, but Jane's got probably one of the most sound abilities to heal herself. So I don't really mind. Pillaging brigands, enriching themselves as the world collapses. Now, these guys do have extra... Oh, actually, they have minus to resist. So okay. Um, we'll start off with Ounce of Prevention. I think I'm always going to start with that just to make sure we don't get hit by any damage over time when possible. Um, these dudes in the back actually probably need to go first. It can be problematic. Steady yourself. Hence my point. They can be problematic. Yeah, that's not that's not good for us. <laughs> it's a very hard hit. Probably going to strike us with a few bleeds here and there. Blinding is uh, is worrying. 
I don't really want to use my healing salve at the minute, but I think I have to. That was a crit, so I'm very glad I did. Um, I'm going to bolster here. Okay, nice. Stress relief there from the bolster. Finishing blow does hurt. And we get another blind on us too. These enemies in the back line are really harsh. They can, they can do insane damage. Unfortunately, that blind is going to cause a few misses here and there. But we just have to deal with that as it comes. Unfortunately, um, our Jane Doe here is really doing pretty bad on the damage side of things. The damage she's dealing is not very good at all. We really need quite a lot more eked out here. We're probably going to end up taking this to round limit just because it's four enemies, but... As long as we can get through that without taking too much unnecessary damage, I'll be pretty happy. Managing to, to give ourselves blocks whenever we need them as well. A blistering shot. Okay, so now we have a corpse to heal you up, so that means we don't have to bother about healing you. We can give our nice little Dismas here, Highwayman, a little heal. I think he appreciates that muchly. And unfortunately, another miss, but there goes his blind token, so he's feeling a little better now. I think we're going to go with Bello here. Should help with um, these guys, unfortunately. It didn't take. The but nevertheless, that combo. Begins. That combo can really hurt us. Mm, good, good. No stun. I thought, I, I'm not sure if it's that one that can stun or if it's Blister Shot. One of their skills can stun. Okay, we finally got a hit with Dismas here. He's, he's sort of stumbled back from his dazed confusion, and he's feeling okay. At least has been and relationships are repairing. They were they were in a bad spot for quite some time, but it looks like uh, looks like they're really doing decently now. We're gonna use hold the line here just to push ourselves forward and gain that block. And with you, we're gonna use dead of the night not only to stealth ourselves but give ourselves a pretty decent heal. And it's, this is why we need hero shrines. You unlock skills like this that give you self heals and things that are just, just very, very important. Very, very important indeed. Final round, of course. We're not going to get much else out of this. We'll at least kill one more. And we'll probably uh, get a good heal out of this. I think you need it more. But unfortunately, there is no way that we're ending this round with a kill. As hard as we may try. I do want to use more healing salves, I've got to be honest. I'll save it for battle, just in case. There's at least another death blow on a crit, which did actually give us some stress relief too. Maybe I should have used that healing salve, goddamn. That was, that was a very hard hit there. Slightly regret not using it on their uh, Dismas now. <laughs> you don't expect a hit that hard to come right at the end of combat. And we got a cultist encounter next that I'd hope that we can skip by, but there's a chance we can't. This was all a mistake. Dismas, it's okay. You're fine. I like his style. Okay. It'd be nice if we could... Nah. I guess it'd be nice if we could back away from this encounter. I find I find cultist encounters just... Ooh, inseparable. Two Already. Wow. Stone. Courtney. Without the other. And Jane. Okay, so these guys have a lot of dodge. So... I don't know what's best here. Tracking shot does remove dodge. Maybe we'll go for that. Let's just try and, like, wail on one at a time, I think. But these guys can, like, cause blind and all sorts of horrible stuff. I never know which ones to go for first. I find... I, I honestly, I find the cultist encounters in this... In this, um... In this game, incredibly difficult. There you go. Nice stress relief there between these two. Yeah, I, f I find them incredibly difficult. They just they've got some insane skills. And then they just they just got these this constant barrage of dodges and debuffs that just never seem to end. 
it just leads to a all in all very uh very difficult situation but we at least got rid of those dodges answer prevention here in crisis we can rely only upon each other let's get rid of that bleed on you why not there you go relationships are building they really are i think i think everyone has taken to jane quite quickly i didn't think they, they had but they they really seem to have taken to her ah there's some horror though that could be problem problematic and of course you've got your dodge back even though i just got rid of it noise the hell out of me that noise the hell out of me at least we got some repost here sightless miasma Ooh, that's going to deal some stress. Yeah. When they get hit, the stress gets passed on. Th this is what I mean. A hit for 12 that stresses me twice, and on top of that, it can bleed. It's just like, come on. Can, can you, like, chill out for a minute? Right. Let's do some stress relief here. Give us that block. But I, I feel like I'm doing so much damage control and basically no damage. Because everyone's bleeding and all sorts of stuff. It's just, it's I just think it's crazy. I'm going to blind you. It's just, it's so hard to get through these fights without like taking a, some really hard hits. We have to get that dodge gone so we can kill this thing. They're just the fights that I find really, really tedious. All right, these two in the back line are going down pretty much next turn. You, of course, are going to crit next turn and dodge and everything. Ugh. Oh, they. Ooh, wow. The inseparable reversed. That was not expected and incredible. Very happy to see that. Blood Bond here doing some extra damage. Enfeebling Miasma. There goes that damage. And there goes the stress. The stress is going wild right now. A little help impeccably timed. Stress is going wild. Oh, and look, Blood Bond again, straight away, as soon as it just happened. It's just maddening. I just find it bizarre. Ah, oh my god. She keeps hitting for such low damage as well. You're gonna hit Dismas and knock him down to death's door. I know it. So I'm gonna guard him. You're not hitting him. I knew you were gonna do it. There you go. Missed. How do you like them apples? He's gonna do this and get his dodge back. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, good. There's another slice on you. A slice of life. In comes the bleed and the blind. Lovely. Stress is getting out of hand now. Messy, There's another one down the... But effective. We're going to need to probably heal again here at the end of this fight. Let's give you the heal. This is what I mean, healing salves are just so necessary. Let's do can bolster here. Give us a nice bit of stress relief. Okay, you've got the crit again. As long as we can take this guy out before next turn, before he gets to attack again, would be real good. Anti prevention, I think. Just do a, do a little bit of stress Empowered. relief and a little bit of buffing. That, that bleed buff is really nice. Oh, no. The blind. Oh, we death thawed it at least. That's at least going to weaken. That's nice. It is going to get another turn though and probably bleed. Resisted. Very good indeed. In comes the crit though. And of course, it's on no one else but Dismas. This is rough. We, we don't even have any heals left either. A righteous action. Inseparable once again. Hey, that's good. Right. Get through that dodge. Oh, we can't even battlefield medic anymore. 
Oh my god. It's just and a miss as well. It's just brutal. Brutal. Time that missed? I didn't realise those could even miss. Bloody hell, Dismas. Bloody hell. Come on. You were such a fine warrior before. What happened? Pull yourself together. We don't have enough to heal you or anything. It, you, you're going to crit Dismas. I know you are. I know this game. Ounce of Prevention is still on cooldown as well. Oh my god, and you resisted that. <sighs> yep. Yeah. What what do I t what do I tell you? And the bleed's gonna kill him next turn. You watch. It's just one of those days. Oh, and your death door resisted me as well. Don't die, Dismas, please. Okay, there you go. He didn't die. Oh my god. Impressive Got a mastery token. No gain is insignificant. But my god, things are scary. Very, very scary. Right, one second. Right, let's push forward into the task's end. But do I don't care what any of you want. I'm going to the hero shrine. You can hate me all you want. But hero shrine all the way. Look ahead. A place to reflect, remember, and reconcile. Indeed. Why did we stop? Exactly. Ah, tested relationship here. Envious. He covets what the other has. Unfortunate. And to take it. The relationships are thinning between some and thriving between others. It's a sorry sight. It truly is. But onwards we push to the hero we shrine. Must understand the path if we are ever to be free of it. I don't know who to go for here. Um, I feel like we've got good skills on everyone pretty much at the minute. I think Plague Doctor is next in the in the lineup, Courtney. Chapter two. Head of the class. Oh, we actually have a fight here, okay. The professor was a relic, hacking and wheezing his way through a hopelessly conventional curriculum. Yeah, this is kind of funny. Anxiety for men's insidious fears. Are we going to lose this? We're already so stressed. I can't tell if the point is to, to, uh, to lose or not. Oh my god, this is impossible. <laughs> Symptoms of a terminal illness? What the hell? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> this is bizarre. Anxiety for men's insidious fears. And that's us on max stress. Only when we acknowledge the past can we be free from it. Where? Y'all... Y'all never told me if I fail the hero shrine I don't get to pick a skill. What? I wasn't even trying then. I didn't think it mattered. I thought you still got the skill. An elementary oh, was... problem. Is it not? Fucking bollocks. <laughs> I didn't know it mattered. Oh, so that was an absolute waste of time. Oh my god, that was so stupid. I thought they, I thought they were just like little storytelling devices. I didn't think they actually mattered. How are you meant to win that one? <laughs> How was I meant to know that? What the hell? I'll try it again this time, but I'm not hopeful. The value of such a view is matched only by its unsettling awfulness. Okay, we're sticking on the same path as we were before. We got a. Uh... 
We've got a road battle coming up ahead. What we're all, what's everyone wanting right now? Is it just this? Bandages. Remove bodies. Burn cells. No one's got anything left. Wow. Everyone's all out. All right, keep moving to this next hero shrine. I did not know you had to complete those. I thought they were just kind of there as storytelling devices. I'm stupid. The poor devils roam aimlessly amidst the trees. Okay, got another kind of hard battle here. They've got plus four speed as well. And we get vulnerable. But luckily that was a very, very like weak hit, so it didn't actually matter. Oh, beautiful crit there. No stress relief though. Caught anything because it was, it was a great job. So we did get the stress relief in the end. Good to see. Dismiss taking another big hit here. Front mortar's horrible. And it's a stun as well. Wow. Anti revenge in here is going to be nice. I think when you get a road battle, it shouldn't be able to be four enemies because it's. it's it feels, at least, that it's almost impossible to actually kill all four enemies before the fifth round. Oh, unfortunately, the envy's setting in here. It's causing some stress between the group. That finishing blow can't be, uh, can't be nice. But that, however, taking one damage to a post for that much, ooh. That's what we like to see. Some, some stress across the board here. And there you go. You've been destroyed. You will heal up a little bit. Hoping to cure relationships at the same time. Armored her up once more. Oh, the repurse is coming. I love the repurse. Unfortunately, we took on some blind there. I think a bolster between the two of us will hopefully repair the relationship somewhat. You never know. Another dagger in the back line there. Ooh, unfortunate miss. But that's that that's that token that we had there. Front mortar once again, and another stun. Ooh, that is so bad for us right now. We actually had a chance of doing this, but I think that stun's kind of stopped us in our tracks a little bit there. Let's bandage up. And there's the death. Well, yeah, we actually had this in the bag, I think, until that, that stun. We might still be able to do it, but... It's going to be a little tough. I think counter prevention is necessary here, keeping our stress a bit lower. The dagger in the back. If we don't get... I'm going to say, if we don't get any uh, death blow resist, we should be pretty good here. No repost, actually. Hmm. This could be tough. My god, that was a lot of stress to come in there. It's okay, though. Despite that, I will still cure you. Stay down, you fiend. Okay, last round. We might be able to do this. That finishing blood does hurt. Let's go for the kill. There you go. We did it. Nice one. That's beautiful. The Wayne Rider waits. Unfortunately, we gained trade. basically nothing for that. I thought we were going to get a mastery token at least, but sadly not. Okay. Push forward onto the hero shrine. Is that- is this a- Is this another road battle? Two? I didn't even know this could happen. 33% extra max HP. I didn't- I didn't even know this could happen. Cooperation is the key. I was not aware. Yeah. Keep slicing on the one guy. That- that is a lot of health. That's a lot of health. 
And she blinded me. If I miss, I'm going to be so upset. It should still set up repose, though, nonetheless, right? Yeah. God damn. Brutal, this is. Absolutely brutal. I, I don't know why there's two road battles. Oh, we took vulnerable as well. Please, no. Get some healing in there. Oh, come on now. <laughs> no, you didn't. You're at full health. That needs to be fixed. You didn't need it at all. You're stupid. That's a good slice there. Good cut. And there's the death blow on a crit as well, nonetheless. Finishing blow, that hurts every time. Wow. My lord, this is getting tough. I always seem to low, uh, low roll that attack. It's 5 out of 10, I always get 5. God damn, you're hitting us all so hard again. Just stop. Please. We're all so hard done to already. This wound at least has been tended to. Nice one. Keep that stress low as we go forward here. A little help yeah, this has actually been very, very good that we managed to stall this out a little bit. Even more stress relief. We've actually managed to get our stress down very, very low. And then we can finish this guy off. Yeah, that actually worked out really nicely. In crisis, Still the, no like, ooh, Loudenham though. I do like to see Loudenham. Don't see much of it, but it's very, very valuable. Let's just uh, open up our bag and swap that out for the Loudenham. Gonna move, remove one stress, and um, it's also gonna remove horror as well. Right. Here we are at the next hero shrine. Let's not fumble this one, shall we? I'm going to go with Courtney again here. Chapter 2. Head of the class. Yeah, I, I I don't know how to play this. The professor was a relic, hacking and wheezing his way through a hopelessly conventional curriculum. Revise notes. This is such a strange battle. Right, then go with Heated Rebuttal. What? I don't... I don't get it. <laughs> what? I don't understand. What am I doing wrong here? For what the hell? Fears. Only when we acknowledge the past can we be free from it. That was. I don't care. Go away. That's fucking stupid. They Who decided that was a good idea? Now. God damn! So frustrated. Twice in a row, that bo- 33% oh. extra health again? Oh my god. This is brutal. Oh, and we got taunted as well. God damn it. This is just thoroughly frustrating. Hopefully we can grow relationships between these guys a little more as well. Weaken them that another may finish the work. Sure wish I could do that. Okay, let's take this guy out back line here. I know that he's gonna end up taunting us a lot, but we just gotta go for it. These cuts are gonna they're gonna stack up pretty quick. We're gonna be taking a lot of damage here. Luckily, these two started with their blocks. As I said, these cuts are going to end up stacking up. 
my lord. A little help, impeccably timed. Right. Oh, fuck, he's taunted again. Stop. I need for a post set up here. Ooh, now we got taunted. Okay. That's not good. It's like... I keep low rolling all of my damage attacks and it's very frustrating. We need bolster here for the defense. Like, oh, look at how much damage we've done. We've done like nothing and we're all, we're all so low. Well, the front two are so low at least. It's gonna be hard to come back from this, I think. I think we're in a very bad spot right now. At least these two are getting along. And now you're taunted. This is brutal. I don't like the taunts at all. Hey, could have given that to someone else though. Hey, nice crit there in this guy. That's good. Puts me in a good mood at least. It just keeps removing and adding stress over and over. Oh, don't, don't taunt him. He is not in the mood. Especially don't crit him, please. Let's, uh, let's get a defender on him as well. He's gonna need it. Oh god, the damage is coming in hot and heavy though. Is this not round five yet? <laughs> Not even killed a single one of them yet. Not a single one of them. A little help impeccably timed. Ah, nice. At least we can get through the block there. And we removed your block entirely. We just can't hit the back line at the minute. It's problematic for us. It's something our group is not good at. I love the little drum dude. He's so cool. I hate him, but I love him. Envious. Once again, envious. At least heal his stress. Be a kind guy. Please let it be round five. <laughs> I want to escape. There you go, it's round five. Everyone's got to go through their turns yet, though. We're not out of the woods yet. So glad these two are inseparable, because goddamn, it's been needed. But these two at the front are just a pain in the ass right now. Oh my god. Steady yourself. Both going after Jane. We're going to be leaving this with low HP. There you go. Nothing gained. I, I, I'm, I, I still, I don't know how to feel about road battles. I think I really dislike them. <laughs> I don't like, like, I, I really, I, I appreciate the round limit to make sure that it's the not too long, but just make the enemies weaker. <laughs> like, give them less HP. <laughs> so it doesn't last as long. I'll do fewer enemies. I don't know. It's just... Oh, God, it's horrible. Really? We have to give up light here? Kind of bullshit. Okay. I really didn't want to give up light, considering... Wealth but is worthless apparently we had to. And we did get a buttload of laudanum for that, though, which is very, very nice. I'll definitely uh, be equipping that. That is a lot of loudness. In fact, we could just, like, outright cure everyone's stress here. Right. Academic study. Here we go. Right. We're nearing 
nearing the end. We're not getting through that Guardian, though. I think we're, I think we're gonna lose someone to the Guardian. We're just not in a position to fight anything. This has been a very ragtag group, and they've been they've been doing their best, I'll admit. But their best just isn't enough. Of the familiar, does it not? We gotta leave. We don't have the light for this. We're, we're on zero light. We're getting an ambush. We, we're like, we, we literally, when we move, we'll get an ambush. There is still time. On zero light, you get ambushed, so that's coming any time now. Minus affinity changes, but we can't, we can't do anything about it. Yeah, here we go. These bloody guys again. Not on my watch, thank you very much. Although the dodges did uh, prove that to be a little less valuable, but still. Right. Is the key. Dazed and blinded right off the bat. Oh my god, just stop, please. It's just unendingly brutal. And these enemies are so hard to. This is really going to be a pretty tough time for us. Oh my god. I think we want to set up a post. Oh, we missed, of course. We got a blind token. Oh my god. This game is so brutal. I love it and I hate it. <laughs> I think we just need to get through these these like three or four. Like the next like four or five runs are gonna be really rough, I think. And we're gonna have a really hard time. But we're gonna come out the other end of it feeling a lot better. But at the minute, oh my god, it's just the game's so unbelievably unrelentingly punish punishing it just feels like no matter how good of a decision i make no matter how hard i try there's never enough light there's never enough healing and there's too many enemies just non-stop everywhere It's it's just at the minute it feels it feels so upset. Like basically, I I feel like the game at the minute with the current level of balancing and I, by the way, I do realize this game is super early access, so this is all very very subject to change. Like apparently the the full game's not going to come out of like two years or something. It's very early access, but um I feel like in the current state, if I was a new player and I played this game, I've never played Darkest Dungeon before, I would not play it again. <laughs> it's too punishing. It's way too hard to new players. And I get Darkest Dungeon is all about dying and being punished, but this sort of stuff, it's just evil. Like, look how much Laudanum we've used, and look how much stress I've got. We haven't even killed a single enemy yet. Not one. Dragged back from the brink. Hey, relationships coming together. It just feels so uneven. It feels like my party is... I, I mean, I get that it's kind of meant to feel uneven. Your party isn't meant to feel like gods. But they're meant to feel useful, at least. And they don't, really. Hey, nice heal there. Thank you. More Loudenum. We just keep spreading the Loudenum everywhere. Spamming the hell out of it. Back to death's door with you. And your death's door. Of course your death's door. Just to get that crit in there. And we get blinded too. Oh my god, the cultists are the worst. By far. By far, the cultists are the worst. So much for friendship. I mean, I'm sorry, but he is on death's door. I feel like I do owe him it. Horror there as well. Oh no! Come on! And now, 
the greatest. Double Death Doll. Actually, that's not double. Uh, he's he's still he's still kicking. Okay, these two, their relationship is keeping them pure. You can see it. They're, they're, they're like, not fine, but they're way better off than the uh, two up front are right now. There is comfort in company. Okay, got some stress relief there. Dismas might be the first to go here. That bleed is uh, stacking up pretty high. We can't really do much about it. Oh, another miss. Classic. There you go. Got rid of one of them. One less obstacle in our path. Impressed. Oh, on death's door. What must I do to end this suffering? There goes Dismas. Let us hope they find peace. Unfortunate for him. But this is probably the end times for this crew. These two having an absolute blast of a time. They're loving it. Two up front, hitting every minute. Okay. Why not hold the line? Why not? One HP. <laughs> I kind of don't want to kill this guy because I kind of need him to kill us, otherwise it's going to be excruciating. But at the same time, got to push forward. These two at the back have just taken so little damage though. Like I said, they really are kind of chilling. There's that death door. And there we go. Oh, and the meltdown has come. The relationships are thinning. Ooh, that's a hard hit as well. Wow. I can't do much else. Just try and dole out the damage. Ah, nice hit on you. Nice hit on you. Why are you attacking the bodies? You fool. Blinding gas. <laughs> Can't believe that missed. God damn it. Okay. Why do they keep attacking the bodies? There's a kill on one of you. We might make it out of this alive, but it doesn't really mean much. It doesn't really mean much at all for us. I'm just gonna go. I, I don't want to kill this dude because I need him to kill us. Like, we need to start I over. I, I know it's suicidal, but we've got no light. We're just gonna be absolutely fucked. The slow suffering begins. Indeed, it does. Pick to the face, indeed. More bleed stacking from death's door we give you the vapors of life to bolster your next hit this does give us um, a lot of dodge and speed there goes you every time grave robber stands alone every time without fail She's going to lay her arms the Lay her arms 
and succumb to the meltdown. Here she goes, into that sweet night. Stop attacking the corpses, you fool. I know you're blind, but come on now. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion. And you still miss. Round 15. Oh, okay, we got we got brought back from the brink for some reason. Not that not that I wanted that. <laughs> I'm trying to give up, but the game won't let me. <laughs> I Jane Doe here. Complication. She isn't ready. And we Each perish. Milestone makes the next road just a little easier. This time we unlock. Learn from each attempt. Quite a few new things here Deepen and there. Your understanding. We continue on victory once more come. to the crossroads. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that. As desperate as it was, we tried our best. Unfortunately, we could not succeed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. You were right to fear the world. It has gone mad.